John Paul Kane becomes just the fourth professional golfer joining Charles Cootie, Bob Estes, and Billy Maxwell as a member of the Big Country Athletic Hall of Fame. He took a little different route to the pro ranks, however. Sweetwater started a golf team for the first time when Kane was a senior in high school. He finished third at the state tournament, which was oddly enough won by fellow Hall of Famer Charles Cootie of Stanford. Kane then went to Texas Tech where he was a four-year letterman. The Red Raiders won the Border Conference both his freshman and sophomore years. Texas Tech was then accepted into the Southwest Conference, so Tech Athletic Director DeWitt Weaver decided to redshirt all five players on the golf team during the transition year before joining the Southwest Conference. As a senior, Kane beat TCU's Don Massengale on the final hole to win the conference title as Texas Tech won the Southwest Conference Team Championship. But instead of turning pro after graduation, Kane went into the business world, spending most of his career as a stockbroker in Houston while continuing to play golf at the highest level on the amateur level. Kane was a four-year letterman in golf at Texas Tech. He was the 1959 Texas Amateur Champion and played Ben Crenshaw in the finals of the 1973 Trans-Mississippi Mid-Amateur. Then at age 52, when competing at the U.S. Senior Open, Kane decided to give the Senior PGA Tour a try. He received an alternate card at the Senior Tour Qualifying Tournament, meaning it would be the middle of the summer before he would be eligible to uh, play on the Senior Tour. So Kane started entering Monday qualifiers, and six times in his first nine tries, he qualified for the tournament that weekend. And on his sixth successful attempt, Kane won the Greater Grand Rapids Open, becoming only the second senior PGA Tour golfer to go through the Monday qualifier and then win the tournament title. The next year, he picked up his biggest victory, a win at the Ameritech Senior Open in Chicago. A mild summer day here in the Chicago land area, partly cloudy skies. And back to the 11th, John Paul Kane, who was again tied with Hill for the lead, his approach shot. Kane playing on a sponsor's exemption, a one time winner on the senior tour. He won an 89 in Grand Rapids. And he's had rounds of 66, 67, a fine shot there by the Houstonian Kane at the 11th. And welcome everybody to the 18th Tower. Jim Nance with Ken Venturi. Quite a story here with this likable John Paul Kane, the overnight leader, but uh, interesting company around him too, Kenny. That's true. He started this morning at 11 under par and after 36 holes, then he's paired with, with Mike Hill and Jim Colbert who are accustomed to winning as a very interesting pairing because everyone is looking to see how he would fare and he's doing quite well. He's two under par through 10 holes. He's 13 under par and tied the lead with Mike Hill and I think he's holding his own very well. Boy, a leaderboard this bunch together, you have to think there's a chance for a playoff back on the team what's the strategy here tied I think he has to go with the driver myself and he's gonna take an iron so he's gonna depend on whether how well he can pitch the ball Gary how's that look that looks perfect he, he just doesn't have the length guys to even get anywhere near the screen so too if he hit his best too how about Colbert, Gary? Is he far enough forward to be able to maybe knock it on? This would be his third shot. He will have about 260 oh, yards. I don't think he can get there. No, not the way the wind's blowing. So the flag is going downwind here. So Kane, here's what he has to do. Stay dry. Guys, he's just got it just perfect right down the gut. Oh, yes, and that'll end up in the center of the fairway. It was an amateur player, really a great amateur player in the state of Texas, but made a living as a stockbroker and uh, played his golf at a Houston Country Club. And I can right now see all those members in the grill hovered around the television pulling for John Paul. I'll tell you another thing, Kenny, when it comes to playing in the Pro-Am, he's one of the favorite out here. Is that right? With. Come to town, they write articles about John Paul and the Pro Ams. That's nice to hear. Now, this could come down a little bit. Well, that's all he looked for. Yep. That's all he looked for. That's the safest, best percentage shot you can play. He cleared the hump, kept it left, got a nice little downhill putt now, and he puts the heat back on Colbert. 
Kane will not even mark it. He put together a round today of 69, 66, 67, 69. Got a sponsor's exemption this week. And boy, did he put on a show. Now Colbert with a putt for par to force the playoff. If it's going to be firm, it'll be right edge. And if it's a little easier, you can take the ball a little outside the hole. But this is not a time to leave it short. Good Look out. Oh, low side. John right. Paul Kane has won it. He's won for the second time on the senior tour. He later won his third senior tour event at the Jamaican Open, and all Kane played 10 years on the senior PGA Tour. He even once received a special birthday greeting. John Paul, happy birthday. I'm a little offended that I was asked to speak for the gathering of geezers. I'd much rather be on the pro tour watching you, uh, but may your life after 60 be full of eagles and full of birdies always fairways and greens. Good luck, best wishes. John Paul Kane of Sweetwater, the newest member of the Big Country Athletic Hall of Fame.